For no particular reason at all, I just wanted to quickly remind everyone that I predicted in an earlier video and in an earlier stream that we were going to see a lot more graduations, specifically from Niji Sanji. And despite the fact that I thought I made a good case for my claim, a lot of people disagreed with me and I got a little bit of pushback. In completely unrelated news, today I'm here to report on two Niji Sanji graduations. The first one being from Akane. <laughs> The second one being from Siska. Oh, yeah, but I'm not sure. So you don't want the D? You don't want the D? <laughs> Why it sounds so wrong? <laughs> you don't want the D? D. D, D, uh. In the case of Akane, the statement was made in Japanese, but thankfully, Hikaru the Clipper went through the effort of translating this statement for us. Specifically, he translate Niji Sanji's statement as Thank you for the support of virtual livers group Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji EN. On May 24th, 2023, Akane will graduate from Niji Sanji and leave in order to focus on her studies. They go on to clarify that her Twitter's gonna be closed on May 26th, and they'll no longer be accepting fan letters on June 30th. And they go on to praise the talent and admire her for her wide range of activities, including, quote, transcending language barriers and focusing on singing. And they go on to say that they would like to express respect and gratitude in her activities as a member of Niji Sanji. Akane herself would make her own statement in Japanese, once again, translated by Hikaru, thank you so much. The talent goes on to clarify that the reason that she's graduating is because she's got both a personal life that she wants to manage and studies that she wants to focus on. And being a talent with Niji Sanji is just a little bit too much to juggle right now. So she's decided that she is going to focus on her personal life rather than her career as a VTuber. Completely understandable. And it genuinely does sound like this is a graduation that's happening on good terms and without drama. And just for the sake of clarity, I know I tend to have a very sarcastic tone. I am being genuine when I say that. Siska herself released her graduation statement in both English, Indonesian, and Japanese. Very cool of her. Now, in this statement, she doesn't really go into the specifics as to why she decided to graduate, but she does say that she was grateful for the opportunity, she loves her fans, and that her fans really and truly made her dreams come true. She will be retiring from all VTuber activities on June 15th of this year. If I can be completely transparent, I'm so on guard because of the past drama with past graduations. I was fully expecting these graduations to be messy and stressful. So it's really nice to have a change of pace and have people who are graduating for what seem like completely mundane and non-stressful reasons. And along with these two VTubers graduating, I really do anticipate that we're going to see a lot more graduations from Niji Sanji, possibly some for stressful and dramatic reasons, but also plenty for just normal mundane reasons as the VTubers who got signed on move on with their lives, grow past VTubing, and pursue other career paths. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already, because I'll be sure to keep you informed as to who's joining the company, who's leaving, and the general goings on with both Niji Sanji, Hololive, Vishojo, and any other VTuber that happens to catch my attention. The next piece of Niji Sanji news that I wanted to cover is that Salome has got some celebration goods that she wants to advertise. She has got a merch drop. And as we all know, buying merch is the best way to support a talent. And now for no particular reason, I'm going to play this clip from Mista. I'm just kidding, bro. I get like 1% from merch sales. I ain't get shit. Fuck, man. I'm getting scammed myself. Man. <laughs> But yeah, be sure to support your favorite VTuber and buy their merch. And the last piece of Niji Sanji news that I want to cover in this video is from Ban Hara. She had quite a bit to say. She went on a little bit of a rant, but I do think it is relevant and interesting. So I wanted to go over what she had to say here. Ban Hara goes on to express that people get mental breakdowns from life and they don't want to do anything. And that's been me for a while. So please stop urging me to stream. Don't ask me why I'm not streaming or release your anger on me directly as I am not your emotional trash can. Thank you. Have a nice day. Smiley face. She then goes on to elaborate on why she is expressing such frustration. She says, 
I'm not being aggressive. I'm finally saying that I'm sick and tired of how long I've been going through people tagging me in their tweets, commenting in my chat, or sending me marshmallows saying how they're disappointed and mad. Can you believe it? That I'm not streaming as much and they feel like I care less about my fans, which I think is ridiculous and you should touch some grass because unfortunately, streaming is not my full-time job unlike it may be for a few others. I have a life and a job to go to and people I need to meet as well. Also, who are you to say that I don't care about my fans? You don't know me like that. Plus, I don't wish for streaming to become my full-time job because then I personally feel like I would become isolated and lose touch with people outside of streaming. In case you haven't realized, I have closed my marshmallows as a result, and from here on, I will not open it again because of how aggressive people can be when they're anonymous. So if you have a problem with me not streaming and you wish to make a complaint, feel free to contact any color directly and I suggest you watch other amazing Niji Sanji livers because the more this becomes an apparent problem, I will stream less and less and less. And then she just goes on to clarify that just because she's saying this is in English doesn't mean she's targeting English fans. And then she says that she's going to go take a nap. And I wanted to go through this point by point because I think she brings up a lot of things that are worth talking about. Number one, harassing people to stream more often does not make people want to stream more often. It might seem paradoxical to some, but in my opinion, I think it makes perfect sense. Anytime someone pressures you to do something, it just makes you want to do it less. And that kind of goes for anything, streaming or otherwise. So that I completely relate to. And second, I 100% agree with the whole marshmallow thing. I don't have a marshmallow or any of those other anonymous question services. I think they're dumb. If you have a question for me, you can find me on Twitter. I do find it particularly interesting that they specify that streaming is not their full-time job. I think there is a perception that when you're a VTuber, VTubing is your full-time job, especially if you're part of a corpo, but it is super common for a streamer to have a full-time job aside from streaming. I myself work for a moving company. I'm sure she works a completely normal job as well. And I'm willing to bet that out of the 200 plus Niji Sanji talents, at least a hundred of them probably work full time on top of streaming. And streaming, in my opinion, is kind of a job in and of itself because it requires so much energy and emotion and output from you that other jobs just don't. My job requires me to be polite. It does not force me to be energetic and enthusiastic and entertaining for hours on end. So, I, and I only bring that up because I want people to be aware that, that just because somebody is a VTuber doesn't mean they necessarily have the time or energy to stream as often as they would like to or get around to doing all the things that they would otherwise want to. Life is tough, man. Time is limited. And at the end of the day, people have lives outside of the internet and making content. But that's all I wanted to say. Let me know what you thought about our discussion today in the comments down below. I'm out. Bye, guys.